Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you so much for joining me. It's with a sad and heavy heart to announce the passing of singer and actor Meatloaf, who passed away on January 20th of 2022 at the age of 74. Meatloaf had one of the biggest and most distinct vocals in all of rock music, best known for his collaborative work with singer, songwriter, lyricist, and producer Jim Steinman, the two together created probably the biggest trilogy of albums in all of rock music. Bat Outta Hell in 1977, Bat Outta Hell 2, Back Into Hell in 1993, and Bat Outta Hell 3, The Monster Is Loose in 2006. But before all of that, Meatloaf, whose real name is Michael Lee Aday, was given his famous nickname by his high school football coach due to Meatloaf being overweight. I would say that in the end, Meatloaf had the final laugh on all of that due to the great success he had using the name. And he formed his first band in 1968 called Meatloaf Soul. And while they were offered a recording contract, they turned it down for reasons unknown. At that point, Meatloaf joined the Los Angeles production of the musical Hair. And from the publicity that was generated due to that performance, he was offered another recording contract from Motown along with his co-performer from Hair, Sean Stoney Murphy. And so in 1971, the duo recorded and released their only album titled Stoney and Meatloaf. Musically, the album itself was more in the soul and R&B vein. It was not yet the theatrical rock that we all know and love Meatloaf for. And while they did have a charting Billboard Hot 100 single, Meatloaf would soon leave the group uh, thereafter. And in 1973, Meatloaf was cast in the original production of the Rocky Horror Show, the musical version of it, or theatrical version, I should say, playing the parts of Eddie and Dr. Everett Scott. The success of this, of course, led to the movie version of it that was renamed the Rocky Horror Picture Show, the one that we might all know a little bit better. And in 1976, he recorded the lead vocals on Ted Nugent's Free For All album, singing five of the nine tracks. But Meatloaf's big, biggest success wouldn't come just yet. Back in 1972, Jim Steinman began working on Bat Outta Hell with Meat. Things didn't really come together until 1977 with the release of the album itself. And it would become one of the biggest uh, global selling albums of all, selling over 43 million copies worldwide and 15 million just in the U.S. And in 1979, Jim Steinman began work on Bad For Good. This album was supposed to be the follow-up to uh, the Bat Outta Hell album. However, due to the constant touring that Meatloaf was going through, the exhaustion, the stress of everything, he lost his voice. And so the record label pushed Jim Steinman to record the album himself, which was released in 1981, and is a fantastic album in its own right and worth checking out but it did not feature Meatloaf on it. The album instead that would be the follow-up to Bat Outta Hell, Dead Ringer, was released the same year in 1981. Unfortunately, though, was not quite the success of the original, and so things between Jim and Meat began to sour at that point. While they had great chemistry, of course, their working relationship would have lots of tension within it, as all great things do. And while Meat would record the occasional song by Jim Steinman, uh, the two did not work together uh, fully until the early 90s. And so during the 80s, Meatloaf released three more albums to varying degrees of success, but none of them, of course, coming close to Bat Out of Hell. By 1990, though, Jim and Meat were on better terms. They began working together again, which led to Bat Out of Hell 2, Back Into Hell. And this album here was another smash success for both of them, spawning the number one Billboard Hot 100 single, I Do Anything For Love, But I Won't Do That, which would also go to number one in 28 different countries around the world. And the album itself would go on to sell 15 million albums. Through the 90s and 2000s, Meatloaf continued making more new albums, occasionally having a song from Jim Steinman on the album, but the two never collaborating fully on an album at that time. In 2006, though, Meatloaf decided to continue the Bat Outta Hell trilogy, 
this time without full involvement from Jim Steinman, bringing in new songwriter and producer Desmond Child, and together they released Bat Outta Hell 3, The Monster Is Loose. And while not as massive of success as the previous two, uh, it still was a success. Um, the interweaving of Jim Steinman's songs along with Desmond Child written songs, outside writers, did prove to work well, creating a nice uh, cap to the trilogy as a whole. And again, Meatloaf would continue making more new albums, Hinkle Teddy Bear in 2010, and a personal favorite of mine, Helena Handbasket in 2011. But then word came down that Jim Steinman and Meatloaf had begun working together again on a brand new album. And 2016 saw the collaboration Braver Than We Are, which turns out to be the final collaboration between the two and final album by Meatloaf. Um, initially, again, following the touring of this album and the exhaustion and the stress of everything having set in, Meat claimed he was done and that he had performed his final show at that point and was retiring. However, in January of 2020, Meatloaf made the surprise and welcome announcement that he was making a comeback, that he had songs for a brand new album, was reading a script for a brand new movie role, and was setting up a new tour, which makes the news of his passing today all that much harder uh, and just that much more difficult to take. Meatloaf had an amazing career, having not one but two career-defining albums in two different decades uh, during two different musical eras, totally cementing his presence among multiple generations of fans. Meatloaf has no shortage of fans mourning his loss today. He will be remembered in a multitude of ways, not least of being an amazing singer, performer, and certainly a great person. Rest in peace, Meatloaf. You will be missed, but not forgotten. Unfortunately, heaven can no longer wait. May you meet up with Jim Steinman and make beautiful music in the sky. Take some time today, guys. Listen to the music of Meatloaf. Celebrate his life, the things he left us. Watch some of his movies. Enjoy all of the gifts that he gave to us. Take care, everyone. Have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.